Welcome to this tutorial for the Smart USB Dongle from Smart Sensor Devices. My name is Emil Lindblom, software developer at Smart Sensor Devices, and I'm going to help you get started using our Smart USB Dongle. In this tutorial, I will show you how to identify which COM port your dongle is using, how to get started using the dongle with a serial communication program and finally what you need to get started using our example scripts. What we will need for this tutorial is one smart USB dongle with the latest firmware, a computer with at least one USB port, for this example, I will be using a computer with Windows 10 installed. First connect the dongle to the USB port of the computer. To make sure that the dongle is connected and correctly identified by the computer, you can open up Device Manager and look under Ports. The COM port number assigned to a newly attached smart USB dongle might be different than the one shown in this example. You should see a COM port pop up for approximately 10 seconds, after which it switches to another COM port. This is the included bootloader starting up and closing down, which allows you to update the firmware. You can read more about it in our online manual. Your dongle is now ready to use. One of the easiest ways to get started is by using a serial communications program like TerraTerm or Minicom. Simply open the program. Make sure the right COM port is selected. Choose Speed, then press OK. You can now start typing AT commands. To use our example scripts, you will first need to have Python installed. There will be a link in the description on how to install Python. To download the scripts, either go to our online manual or visit our GitHub page. A link will be in the description. The default COM port number in the script file is COM14. this isn't the same as the COM port your dongle is using, you must first go into the script file and edit it. Then save it and it should be fine. Then simply open up the command prompt in the directory where the script is located. Start the script by typing python, then a space, then the name of the script file. Like this. For more information about using our scripts, please watch our YouTube script tutorials. That concludes this tutorial. For more information and tutorials, be sure to visit our online manual. Thank you for watching.